I recently met one of my new favorite people on earth and she's over here to talk with me about anxiety. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And something that I really try to do is get other people to come on my channel and talk about their struggles and successes with mental health. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I just realized as I was doing my intro, that my voice is sounding weird because I am sick and Tristan and I are moving tomorrow. But I wanted to knock this video out before I get back to packing. But anyways, I have the lovely, the amazing, the incredible Diane Jennings who came over and we talked about anxiety. Um, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Like, I love YouTube and the community and just meeting other people and so real quick backstory, like Diane like left a comment on one of my videos the other day. I'm like, huh. And like usually when all of you leave comments, like I'll check and see if you have a channel just because I'm interested. I'll like go and watch your videos. I'm like, Diane like has a channel. I'm like, oh my God. And I just like started binge watching her stuff. So I'm going to link her channel up in the info card and then at the end screen, like go watch her stuff. Like I know a lot of people who are subscribed to me, like, you know, we struggle, we have rough days and all that. Like, if you need a pick-me-up, just go watch Diane's content. Like, she is hilarious. She does a lot of like top 10 lists and like Ireland versus America and like just, I haven't even gone through all her content yet, but every time I watch it, I just smile and laugh and she has an adorable dog named Chewy. But anyways, why am I talking so much? But yeah, like I, I mentioned in the intro, like, um, Diane and I, we were, we were talking and I think it's important, like, I, I, I love having people come on my channel because, like, I'm not the only one who struggles with things like anxiety and other issues and stuff like that, so I love talking to other people about their experiences with it, but Diane also has some awesome, like, just suggestions and embracing it and staying weird and all of that, but anyways, I'm gonna shut up and here is the conversation that me and Diane had. Like, explain to me, you were in my live stream and you were talking about shaky hand i think you called it anxiety tremor like when yeah that's what it's called when did this that's why this... i called it that <laughs> i didn't name it um yeah when did it what when did what yeah when did the whole thing start when when what had that happen so i was like in school and i think a teacher yelled at me or something and i don't even really remember like the instigating moment but it started to turn into like i was afraid to go up to the blackboard and write on the blackboard and it just became like focused on not wanting to write on the blackboard. And I come up with like really creative ways of not doing it. So like I, if somebody asked me to go up and, and do an answer on the board, I'd be like, I don't know the answer. And I was like, I know the answer. I don't know. So I'd say, I don't know. But I, so that was like not great. And then, or then they'd be like, um, Diane, do you want to come up and draw out the chart for, you know, the map of Ireland? And I'd be like, I have to, I, I'm going to throw up. I need to leave, you know, like stupid stuff like that. Yeah. Because as soon as I got up there, my hand would be like just shaking. And then it turned into, we had to go to chapel every morning in my school. It's like weird. But anyway, yeah. so we used to have to hold a hymn book. And like, I loved singing growing up. Like I used to love singing and uh, just holding the hymn book. Suddenly I was able to do it for years and years. This was years after the blackboard thing started. One day I just looked down and I was like, the hymn book was shaking. And I was just like, oh no, no, no. And then all I could think about was like, you're going to do that every time you hold a hymn book, yeah. you know? Like, so then it turned into, I'd pretend I forgot it. And I'd, I'd be like, I forgot mine. They'd be like, you forgot it again. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm such a yeah. duh. <laughs> like, <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. So something I, I haven't even talked about on my channel, I used to, I struggled with a lot of social anxiety and my thing was reading, reading out loud. Like I can read, like I am pretty great at reading, right? <laughs> but when it would happen and I had to like read in front of my class, my brain would go a million miles a minute. Like I'd be reading and I'd be like, okay, you're doing good, Chris. You're doing good. You knocked out that sentence. You hit that hard word. I'm like, but what if you screw up this next word? And then I would screw it up and then I'd like get embarrassed. Like, so my question is like, when this, when this was happening, especially after, you know, the first incident in school. And then as it went on, like, was your brain racing? Like, were you like worried? Were you like worried? Like what people were going to think? Like, were you worried that people were going to say, Oh, there's Diane with the shaky hand. 
yeah, it was weird because like I loved like even going to mass and stuff. I was like, I'll do the reading. Like I'll I'll do it. I'll be Mary. Like you know, yeah. because I loved performing. I loved acting in front of people. And for some reason, my hand would never really shake when I was doing acting because I was like, that's not me. That's a different person. Um, you know. But uh, yeah. So like I don't know what I was. I, when I was younger, it was just one of those things. I was like, anything that makes you a bit strange. Now I embrace the weird. I'm like, stay yes. weird. But yeah. back then, when I was younger, I was like, oh, I don't want to be like that girl who's hat. Like, because people would be like, why is your hand shaking? I don't know. Like, <laughs> you know. Um, but then, like, as I've gotten older, I've just been like, yeah, deal with it. Like, <laughs> like my friends will notice. Like, they'll be like, oh, your your hand is shaking. I'm like, yeah, it is. Yeah. So like when you're like that that was something uh, I was wondering. So you got into you got into acting, right? So because what I think is you know part of this is like a social anxiety thing, but acting is like putting yourself out there in front of an audience and everything. So did this shaky hand everything happen like when you were holding stuff while you were acting or auditioning yeah, well, or rehearsing? That was another actually a funny thing because like when I'd be in character as something, my hand wouldn't shake. Really? Like it wouldn't shake. But if I was, like, coming out of it, like, in a rehearsal or an audition and holding a page, and they'd be like, you know, okay, and end scene, and just blah, 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 like, you know? So I used to have to be, like, really, really, really good at memorizing scripts. And uh, so that I'd walk in and everybody else would be like, I'm not off book, how are you off book? And I'd be like, I'm just, like, really conscientious. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so I'd be like, I learned the whole script off by heart because, you know, so now I have, like, a million scripts in my head that I don't need. But, um, yeah. yeah. So I'd do that, or I'd bring, um, uh, what's it called, a board, like a, like a, a clipboard? clipboard? Yeah. yeah, a clipboard in with me um, into an audition or whatever. Or if they'd turn around and they'd be like, um, okay, we're actually going to give you another side, which is like a, a scene. We're going to give you another side to read. Um, can you can you can you take a look at that and, and do it? And I'd either have to just like memorize it there and then, or I'd be like, I have a reading like I have dyslexia or something. Yeah. I need to take this away for a few minutes. Like, well, you know? Isn't, isn't that interesting? Like, let me ask you this. Like I just I get fascinated by so many things. So so you were you were worried about people seeing your hand shaking, right? Yeah. But, because I didn't feel nervous. Yeah. I didn't feel nervous, but, but my hand said it was. But but you were okay with people thinking you were dyslexic. I know. Like, I don't know. How did that? Okay. <laughs> I'm just a very strange person. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. But then I think of other things like ways around things in like in the in the scenes and things in case I had to break during rehearsal. So somebody would be like, okay, and Diane, can you pick up the glass and then walk over to the other side? And I'd be like. I think it'd be much better if I left the glass, like, yeah, right. or if I had a straw, you know? Yeah, that's great. You were, like, kind of, like, working them around around yeah. that. So yeah. at, at what point did it start either getting better or did you start embracing it? Like, what what um, happened? Or did you have, like, an aha, an aha moment where you're just, like, I just... Yeah, well, a couple of years ago, like, a lot of stuff changed. And I just kind of, like, my friends would be like, it was just all the time because I was very anxious. And my friends would be like, your hand's shaking. And I wouldn't even notice. And I just began to realize, I was like, oh, this is making other people more nervous than it's making me. Like, inside, I feel fine. But my hand's shaking. Mm -hmm. I was like, yes, it is. I don't really. Like, or, you know, I get a funny one would be, like, if I go on a date and, like, I've got oh, a glass. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, I, I don't want to explain this on it. Like, just, just so you know, I have this thing where my hand shakes for no reason. It's not because I like you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I, I don't know. It kind of just, as soon as I kind of decided if it shakes, it shit. Like, you know, I've seen other people do a lot more weird things. They don't focus on you or, you know, people just have nervous habits. I was like, it's just a nervous habit. It's not a yeah. thing that affects my daily life like i don't drop trays all the time like I'm probably you know, not like a surgeon but um yeah yeah it doesn't really happen on the daily but uh now and again it'll just i'll feel fine and then i'll notice my hands shaking and i'll be like oh maybe you're not fine maybe you need to take a little you time you know yeah. <laughs> so. wait let me let me ask a question let, yeah. because one of the one of the co-hosts of your your channel is chewy do you ever shake when holding chewy no, I'm actually, yeah, no, he's, he's like really good. Cause yeah, he's kind of like a little 
comfort blanket in a way. Um, but yeah, I don't know. In like a weird way, you're like, got to keep it together for him. So honestly, that's oh. an interesting question because I don't think I've ever, when I have him around, I don't do it really. Yeah. Uh, it's like an oh, emotional right? support animal maybe. <laughs> I know. I think it should qualify for that, and I should be allowed to bring him to Texas. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I we don't have emotional support animals in Ireland. Really? Uh, no, uh, as far as I know, like you can be like it's an emotional support animal, and everyone will be like, "That's nice." It doesn't give you any legal, <laughs> like yeah. you know. That's, so, that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Real like yeah. real quick fun fact. Um, so I have my beautiful cat Maya sitting behind me, but uh, like we're Tristan and I are moving into the new apartment and um like there's it's like hundreds of dollars to have just a cat right and i went to my doctor because i you know i've been diagnosed with anxiety and depression and she gave me a little form that says emotional support animal so we don't got to pay any of that so any of you watching if you're moving into a new place see if your uh place will cut off some fees for an emotional support animal well wish we could have that here because we don't <laughs> Let, i get them on plans and everything yeah. do you want to say hi chewy Yep, bring you in. There he is. I love it. I love it. By the way, by the way, and I'm going to link to all of Diane's stuff, but there is like a, a Princess Leia inspired type design you have, and I love that so, so much. Yeah. I love it. But inspired. So, did you ever, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever like uh, seek help for it? Like, did you ever like go to your doctor and say, hey, what the heck's going on with me? Why does this happen? Yeah, well, when I was, like, about 12, I think it was really, really bothering me. Because when, you know, when you're, like, 11, 12, anything that's, like, out of the norm is just bothersome. Like, I remember being really upset because I used to sleep with a teddy and I'd have to hide that. You know, so it was like that. It was like, oh, God. And I told my mom I'd be really upset about it. And um, she brought me to see my GP. My GP actually put us in touch with a hypnotist, which was like, for then, we were like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like, yeah. a hypnotist, like in Ireland, in like back then, you're just like, it didn't make any, we're like, all right, but the GP was great, so we trusted him, and went to see him, and it was more like a meditation kind of thing, okay. what we'd call now mindfulness. Yeah. Um, so he kind of went through that, and he'd be like, "Picture yourself in a safe space," and uh, you know, all that kind of thing. And I was like, "It didn't, it didn't really work." But um, he got, he prescribed beta blockers, mm -hmm. which I just it didn't. It it was kind of it did work. It does work if I take them, mm -hmm. but because I more often than not don't need them, I'm like, "There's no point." Yeah. And literally, when it happens, it's just like happens for a minute. Like, why would I be on something that controls yeah. my heart rate for my living, every living moment when all that happens is that? Yeah. And a lot of people get that when they get nervous. It's just mine is maybe a little bit more pronounced. But... Yeah, a little bit, a little bit more noticeable. Yeah, just breathe, Diane. Have a diet <laughs> Yeah, well, and it's, it's crazy, too, because something that uh, um, we were talking about a little bit ago, like here in the in the States, they will just, they'll prescribe like, harder like more potentially addictive medications like i don't even know like do they prescribe like xanax and volume and like those really like strong anxiety meds out in ireland they do but um like first of all just to be clear like if it works for you that is awesome like yeah. there were times when i did go on the better blockers because i felt like i did need it because i was always really like like that all the time just periods of my life and you know i think that if you need it and if it works for you that's great like do it it's just for me i felt like i didn't need it that much but yeah no they do prescribe xanax and valium and stuff but from what i understand of the american system it seems a lot more difficult to get here and mm. um, like they'd kind of exhaust other resources before they'd give it to you and mm. um, However, like, I think, like, if I went to my GP and I was like, I need Xanax, he'd be like, why? <laughs> and, you know, like, and you'd go, blah, 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 blah. And they'd probably be like, well, we think you should try this first. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there probably are doctors out there who do just prescribe it. It just doesn't seem as readily available as it does in the States. Yeah. But, I mean, it'd just be media spin or whatever. No, I don't know. no, no. No media spin at all. Like, here, you can go to your doctor and say, hey, I got to go on a trip planes make me nervous and they're like here's some xanax like that's how crazy it is and that's one of the things that i try to you know bring awareness to is like we don't a lot of uh physicians out here like there's there's definitely good ones right but a lot of them are like here 
medication first, then we'll try other stuff rather than try these other things first and then try medication, you know? So it's a real, real big thing here, but we could talk for hours and hours and hours on end about that. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely need to do some more. So anybody watching this, all of you beautiful people, like Diane and I are going to do a collab over on her channel and maybe we could talk about healthcare differences. Yeah. What about Or that? like turtles. Yeah. Turtles. <laughs> Whatever I don't know yet. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Whatever we'll see. Works. So Diane, Whatever we <laughs> Diane, before I let you go, What's what's going on on the amazing world of Diane? What is happening on the Diane Jennings channel? Because exciting stuff is coming up pretty soon. Uh, I'm coming to Texas, so that's uh, that's the big thing that's gonna happen. Um, I'm coming for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna have my first ever Thanksgiving. And um, what's that about? I want to sit around and break bread with the Americans and be like, I'm thankful for. And yeah, that's what we do. That so uh, I'm coming for Thanksgiving to Texas. That is awesome, awesome. And and yeah, like uh so everybody knows you need to go check out Diane's channel. I was I was fanboying over here because I love her content. So go check it out. I thank you first, Chris. I know, but I you, did it in, you, you did it in secret though. You were just hiding in the shadows. <laughs> did you never know who's watching. You just never know who's watching your videos. I know, right? Somebody sleeping like me. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thank you, thank you so much for this, and I hope this inspires some people to, you know, either a live with it, b go get help, or c just do you, baby. All right. Like little kids, it's okay. If you're weird, it's good. Stay weird. <laughs> Stay better. weird. Stay I weird. Love it. I love it. I told you. I told you Diane was awesome. You thought I was playing with you, but Diane is awesome, right? But anyways, uh, real quick note after we got off the call, she uh, mentioned. So something else that uh, we forgot to touch on in the call was her, her parents actually um, sent her to get uh, a neurological test as well to check out the um, the shaking, right? Uh, but nothing like really like came of that. But anyways, I just want to add that in there. So yeah, like, like go out there and get help and like I, I love how Diane like kind of like jumped back in there and was talking about like there's nothing wrong with taking medications okay like nothing wrong like I talk about like I'm on uh you know antidepressant anti-anxiety medications and all of that you know but if it works for you but you know if there's something else you can do go for it you know what I mean uh but anyways anyways I I'm so glad that Diane came over here and you guys got to go subscribe to her channel like She's about to go to Texas, and like her and I were talking on Skype for a while before we actually recorded this, and like I am so excited to see her experience in Texas over Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Like it is something that I am waiting for, like it's Christmas. So make sure that you go subscribe to her and her adorable dog Chewy. All right. But anyways, I would love to hear from all of you down in the comments below. Like, do you struggle like embracing some of your like anxious like things? Like I like me for me like. It's just something that I do. I leave a lot of errors and screw ups in my videos because that's something that helps me overcome and embrace my anxiety. But let me know what you guys all do down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And remember, exclusive content is now up over on Patreon, so go check it out. And as promised, boom! There is a link to Diane's channel. Go over there, subscribe right now, stay weird. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time.